Can you feel it? The kingdom's magic, it's changing somehow. As if everything has been knocked off kilter. I've cast spell after spell in hopes of fixing it, but they're not having nearly as much of an effect as I'd like. This doesn't bode well at all, not one little bit. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Insolent fools, up until now, my curses may have been thwarted, but no longer, for this spell is different than the others. This curse will steal away the dreams of everyone in the kingdom, transforming it into the place where nightmares come true. Was that Maleficent or Miss Pleficent? I think I saw both, because you're watching I Heart Azalea is always free to play coverage of Disney Magic Kingdoms. My dad and I are playing the Season 7 Tower Challenge. This used the event groups Brave, 101 Dalmatians, Binding Nemo, and Hercules. But before we get going, please take a few seconds to press like now so you don't forget or miss your chance at the end of the video. If we don't get enough likes, YouTube won't let other people know this video exists. They'll just keep suggesting the big channel's boring videos about spending their sponsors' money. Hopefully you watched our video for the 100 Mundal Mason's Tower Sounds. That's our tutorial and it's linked in this video's description, so watch that first if you don't understand tower challenges or general strategy for them. The Season 7 challenge was two challenges later and the structure was mainly the same. We're going to talk about updates and things specific to the Season 7 challenge in this video. For Chapter 1, the event collection was Brave, and the feature character was King Fergus. Azalea had Fergus, but he was the only Brave character I didn't have. For the other Tower Talons characters, Slot 1 had Bo Peep, Goofy, Merida, and Cinderella's Prince Charming. Slot 2 had Lord McGovern, Mike Vazowski, Woody, and Renee Belloc, who is the event character. Slot 3 had Lord McIntosh, Rex, Tinkerbell, and Wally. Slot 4 had him, Meriwether, Pete, and Lord Diggall. The explorations had Kingdom Story characters, Hercules characters, Queen Eleanor from Brave, and Prince Ahmed, the Season 7 Kingdom Pass character. The refreshes had Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, Steamboat Willie, Tony's Restaurant, and Mudka's Meat Hut in Slot 1. Slot 2 had four Brave attractions, Witch's Cottage, Castle Dunbrock, Ring of Stones, and Ruins of the Ancient Kingdom. I finished the chapter and got my attraction enchantment chest. There was 101 Dalmatians Legendary Chest at Milestone 4 that gave me Penny, while Azalea's paid out Lucky. Humph, hardly a setback at all, that spell was merely a taste of what's to come. Ha ha, good show, good show, the forces of evil may be on the rise, but they're no match for us. The characters always change around in Tower Challenges, but a lot of patterns and structures stayed the same for the past three Tower Challenges. Three small to medium changes jumped out at me, though, all in the event shop. The cobalt chests you get for watching ads seem to shift from paying out mainly Maleficent Queens in the 101 Dalmatians challenge to paying out mainly refreshes for the Season 6 and 7 challenges. An average chest now pays out one refresh. The second important shop change is that their cheapest chest changed from having common through legendary characters to having just common. These cheapest chests used to be called magical chests, but are now called sapphire chests. The most expensive chest chains names from sapphire to gold but are nearly the same. The sapphire, ruby, and gold chest characters change from tower challenge to tower challenge though. The Mickey costume available also changed from the Walt Disney 50th anniversary to the Disney 100th anniversary costume for the season 6 and 7 challenges. And the third important shop change is that the Season 7 Challenge added the Delightful Chests, which pay out materials for the comfy costumes. For Chapter 2, the event collection was 101 Dalmatians, and the featured character was Rolly. For the other Tower Talents characters, Slot 1 had Corolla, Aurora, Blast, and Tinkerbell. Slot 2 had Webby, Woody, Perdita, and Renee Belloc. Slot 3 had Cinderella, Bagheera, Davy Zones, and Pets. Slot 4 and Mickey Mouse, Pascal, Penny, and Flower. The explorations had Kingdom Story characters, Hercules characters, Pongo and Lucky from 101 Dalmatians, and Prince Ahmed. The refreshes had Radcliffe Residence, The Park, Cruella's Car, and The DeVille Place in Slot 3. We finished the chapter again, so there was another attraction in Chapman Chest. For the Finding Nemo Legendary Chest at Milestone 4, I got Bruce. Impossible. How could I have? No matter. We shall see how they fare against all the powers of the underworld. 
blow me to Bermuda, what a performance. At this rate, we'll have swept away this new curse in no time. In our creepy chest video, we used the cobalt chest from the Black Cauldron event to manipulate which creepy chest we got. We used this to get Ezra, Gus, and the Hatbox Ghost for only 450 gems. After the video, we used cobalt chests from the Fly Free mini event and amber chests from the Lunch on the Loose mini event to continue manipulating the creepy chests. So we added Phineas with just one 150 gem chest. Unsurprisingly, the cobalt chests also can be used to manipulate the Tower Challenge chests. We tested this on the Sapphire, Ruby, and Delightful chests. I assume this also works on the Gold and Platinum chests, but I didn't have enough Maleficent coins to test Gold and I don't care about Platinum. Azalea got two Sapphire chests and used this to get Tigger and Eudora instead of characters such as Luca, which she didn't like. The Chapter 3 event collection was Finding Nemo, and the featured character was Hank. For the other Tower Challenge characters, Slot 1 had Ham, Marlin, Cuzco, and Fluterflam. Slot 2 had Goofy, Mrs. Jumbo, Dory, and Renee Belloc. Slot 3 had Mickey Mouse, Remy, Squirt, and Trusty. And Slot 4 had Cinderella, Percy, Bruce, and Sir Actor. The Explorations had Kingdom Story characters, Hercules characters, Nemo and Crush from Finding Nemo, and Prince Ahmed. The Refreshes had Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, Crush's Coaster, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, and Zeus's Temple in Slot 4. We finished the chapter giving us another attraction of Jam and Chess. Our total points for the three chapters were 138,588, past the 120,000 we needed for the Delightful Chess. In the Hercules Legendary Chest in Milestone 4, we got Phil. Returning to the Delightful Chest, the big prize was Aurora's comfy costume. The costume shop didn't let you build it from fabric, but there was a 1% probability of getting the full costume. They also had the materials for Ariels, Bells, Cinderellas, Jasmines, Meridas, Moanas, Mulans, Pocahontases, Rapunzels, Snow Whites, and Tiana's costumes. However, you need to have the princess, so I couldn't get Snow White's comfy fabric because I didn't have her. Also, the chest didn't pay out enough materials to get a comfy costume in one tower challenge, because it takes 15 glitched fabric and 10 comfy fabric for that princess. You could get 3 glitched fabric as special chance, but otherwise the max per chest was 1 glitched fabric and 2 comfy fabrics. Also, you might get magic instead of glitched fabric, or personal tokens such as Moana's necklace instead of one or both comfy fabrics. In order to take the personal tokens out of the chest, you need all the personal tokens for the comfy costume and the princess needs to be level 10. I maxed out Moana's necklaces and Ariel's purses before the tower challenge to take them out, but it didn't work because the game figured they could still use the tokens for a future level up. The limit is 10 delightful chests per tower challenge, but they cost 15,000 Maleficent coins each. Free-to-plays aren't generating 150,000 Maleficent coins per tower challenge. I ended up with 5 delightful chests, and not even the Magic Kingdom's hot tub time machine could get me Aurora's comfy costume. I finished with 16 glitch fabric, but just 7 total comfy fabrics. 2 for Merida, 1 for Ariel, 1 for Jasmine, 1 for Moana, 1 for Mulan, and 1 for Rapunzel. I think it'll take me 3 tower challenges to get my first comfy costume, but I also suspect the delightful chests are here to stay like the platinum chests. It wouldn't make sense for them to have such tiny payouts per chest otherwise. No, no, this cannot be. This kingdom has not seen the last of me. I will return and I will not rest until I have destroyed every dream in the land. Good heavens, can it be? You, you've bested the curse outright. Why, why I'm overjoyed is what I am. Thanks to you, the kingdom's dreams have never been bigger or happier. You bested that challenge, but can you defeat Miss Plificent? I will curse you with annoying commercials. Charge. Why charge when you can use our $25 gift cards? Don't forget to like and subscribe!